you want to find the anytime you got the money expansion, all right, before you start doing anything, pre-think the question. All right, the FDIC, like little memory trick, all right, uh, will will help you with this. The first thing you would do is find the demand deposits. The demand deposits these are always given. They never make you calculate that. All right, over here on the Bank of Kale, all right, I've said that they have ten thousand dollars in demand deposits. The next thing you're gonna to have to do is find the RR, right? There's a reserve ratio right, as a percentage, and there's the required reserve, which is a dollar amount. They will always give you one, and you use that along with the demand deposit to find the other. So in this case, Bank of Kale gave us what? Required reserves. It told us the required reserves, all right? It's 1K. Right, 1,000, right? and uh, the demand deposits are 10,000. So what is the percentage? 10%. It's 10%. Right? So now I know that the reserve requirement is 1,000 and the reserve ratio is 10%. Right? Identify the multiplier. Right? When you, so they're never gonna ask you for the multiplier, but you're always gonna need to know the multiplier. And you use it, uh, that, the, the ratio, right? So if our ratio is 10%, what do we know our multiplier is? We know it's 10, right? Whatever we have to multiply that percentage by to get 100%, that's the shorthand way of quickly and easily figuring out how to find the multiplier. So the multiplier is gonna be 10, right? And then, Calculate the excess reserve. Sometimes the College Board questions will just say, like, bank has no excess reserve. Uh, in this case, uh, because they gave us the required reserves, they also told the excess reserve, but it's just good to sort of note. Uh, so what is the excess reserves? 2,000. Right. So we can do all of that sort of before we, before we go to anything else. And a lot of times that's gonna help us uh, have answers to questions. The other thing you always sort of wanna do is take the total reserves and break it down into required reserves and excess reserves. Right? Remembering that the required reserves have to fill up first. You can't have excess reserves. Uh, you can't have excess reserves until you've got all of your required reserves. I got that as 2K. Thank you.